Well, right now, police are still looking for three people behind the attack on a Baltimore police employee. Now, we were the first to show you the disturbing video, which has since gone viral. And today, faith leaders, they condemn the violence at the scene of the assault. WJZ investigator Mike Helgren stays on the story with new pictures of those suspects tonight. You can clearly see the suspects' faces in these new pictures we've obtained. They came from Lombard Street just up there. They encountered the victim here on Albemarle, and he was attacked right about where I'm standing at this point. He is out of the hospital now. WJZ has obtained clearer pictures of the three suspects in the attack on a civilian Baltimore police employee. Here they are heading from Lombard Street. There has to be some consequences and some accountability for those who are out here doing these things. And what are they doing out there early in the morning, 5.30, 6 o'clock in the morning? For what? The beating starts when they turn the corner onto Albemarle, encountering the victim as he's walking. In the video, two suspects on scooters box him in. A third, who's now on foot, knocks him to the ground and kicks him in the head. The relentless beating continues with the police employee getting stomped. It like turned my stomach. Imam Hassan Amin spoke to one of the victim's close friends who says he's now out of the hospital. Baltimore really needs to wake up and wake up now because those that are listening to me, you could be next. Two of the suspects were on Lime scooters. WJZ has learned Lime has reached out to Baltimore police to help. They typically do not share rider data without a subpoena. I'm confident that that's a lead that they're chasing down, just like every other lead that we do. They go for the skull cap for the head, uh, the goofy. Muslim civil rights advocates have called on law enforcement to look into whether the victim was targeted because of his religion, based on the clothing he was wearing. It could be a robbery, but also we should not rule out the element of a hate crime. After beating the man, police say the suspect stole his keys and took off in his vehicle. Local and federal law enforcement, along with others in the community, are offering more than $30,000 in reward money for information that leads to arrests after the caught-on-camera attack that has shocked the city. This wasn't just a crime of convenience, but you saw the brutal attack constantly hitting and hitting over and over again. Uh, this gentleman's head straight into the pavement really brutally could have really, really done tremendous damage to him. Police headquarters is just about a block and a half up that way. Right now, there's $34,000 in reward money, 1000 from the rabbi, 1000 from CARE, and $32,000 from federal and local law enforcement. In downtown Baltimore, Mike Helgren, WJZ.